This video demonstrates to the operator of a high power systems generator set, the pre-start check to be carried out, how to start the generator, and the shutdown process. The first unit to be demonstrated is the rental generator sets with the Deep Sea Electronics DSE 3110 controller. Before starting the generator, the operator should consult the instruction manual. First, the operator should check the oil level. New sets are delivered with break-in oil. The manual should be consulted regarding oil change intervals. Note the position of the dipstick. Having checked the oil level, then check the coolant level. This can be accessed on enclosed sets by removing the cover as shown on the top of the canopy. Next, verify the voltage selector switch is in the correct position. Note the location of the selector switch above the alternator. Turn on the battery cutoff switch located by the engine starter housing. When a unit is fitted with an auxiliary fuel supply, verify the position is switched to the required position. For interior tank, turn the switch to the left and external to the right. Now we're ready to check the diesel level. Press the green diesel check button as indicated and note the fuel on the analog gauge above. The final pre-start check is to ensure the circuit breaker is in the off position. Having been through the pre-start checks, you are now ready to start. When ready to start the unit, step one is to turn the main power switch to the on position by rotating clockwise. As indicated, ensure the main controller has power with the power switch in the on position. To start the set, press the green button on the Deep Sea Electronics 3110 controller. The engine will preheat for 10 seconds if equipped with glow plugs before starting. To shut the set down, press the red button on the DSE 3110 controller. After the set has stopped, ensure the circuit breaker is in the off position. Once the machine is at rest, ensure the battery disconnect switch is in the off position. If it's left on, it will supply power to the controller in the engine ECU, causing the battery to discharge. Finally, close all the doors if the set is an enclosed unit. The next set we are demonstrating is the rental set with the Deep Sea Electronics 702 controller. As before, always consult the operator's manual. The same pre-start checklist is followed. Check the oil and coolant levels. Check the voltage selector switch position. Check the battery switch is in the on position. Verify the circuit breaker is in the off position. After completing the pre-start checks, turn the key on the DSE 702 to the on position. Ensure power is going to the controller as indicated, then start the unit by pressing the green button in the center of the controller. The unit will go into its preheat and start sequence, and then start and run up to speed. To shut the unit down, turn the key on the Deep Sea Electronics 702 controller to the off position by rotating it to the left. After the unit shuts down, ensure the circuit breaker is in the off position, turn the battery disconnect switch to the off position, finally, close all the doors. The next demonstration is rental sets fitted with the DSE 7310 and 8610 controllers. Before starting, locate the manual as indicated and fully familiarize yourself with its contents. Check the oil level as indicated. On enclosed sets, check the coolant level by removing the cover as shown on the enclosure roof above the radiator. Turn the battery disconnect switch to the on position. Ensure the mainline circuit breaker is in the off position. Having completed the pre-start checks, we are ready to start the set. Turn the control panel switch to the on position. Ensure that there is power to the control panel. To start the set in manual mode, press the white hand button on the DSE 7310 or 8610 controller. To start the machine, press the green button on the controller. To stop the machine, press the red button on the controller. Turn the control panel switch to the off position and ensure the battery switch is turned to the off position. The next demonstration is rental sets fitted with the CEM6 and CEM7 controllers. As before, locate the manual as indicated and fully familiarize yourself with its contents. Once familiar with the operator's manual, you are ready for pre-start. Check the oil and ensure there is sufficient oil. Check the coolant level to ensure the radiator is full. Turn the battery disconnect switch to the on position. Ensure the circuit breaker is in the off position prior to starting. After the pre-start check, you are ready to start using the CEM6 and 7 controllers. Turn the power switch to the on position. To start the unit, press the green start button. The unit will start in 10 seconds after the glow plugs warm up. To stop the unit, press the red stop button twice. When the unit stops, turn the power switch to the off position. Ensure the circuit breaker is in the off position. 
Turn the battery disconnect switch to the off position. Finally, close all the doors. Following the pre-start, start, and shutdown procedures demonstrated in this video will assist trouble-free operation. If you have any issues, please contact the High Power Systems Service Department.